Hey folks, how you guys doing? I got a friend with me in the shop this week. This is Matt Lane. He's got a YouTube channel. Be sure to check it out. I'll post a link to it down below. Uh, but while he's in town, I'm going to put him to work and we're going to make a lathe stand for my newly acquired lathe. The design we're going with is just a basic cabinet made out of three quarter inch plywood which will allow some room for changes down the road. The main structure of this project is made with 3 quarter inch plywood and joined with box joints and we used a router to cut a rabbit for the back panel and the back panel is going to be half inch plywood. Now all of the interior dividers and shelves and such they're going to be just set in place with, with screws uh, and no glue mainly because I don't exactly know how that this is going to work out or what I'm going to store in it. Uh, this is the first time I've had a lathe. So I want the ability to be able to change the dimensions of the interior storage spaces as the needs may or may not change. For the vertical partitions we screwed right through the top and bottom panel because we had access to do so, uh, but for the horizontal shelves there's not much access to screw through the sides, 
uh, especially in the inside of the, the cabinet itself. So we chose pocket hole screws to secure those. And the entire inside of the cabinet, as I said previously, is not glued in place uh, because I don't know if I want to maybe one day uh, change one of these columns to a full stack of drawers or maybe add drawers right below the bottom on all three columns. I'm not exactly sure and I guess time will tell as far as how this organization will be. But for right now, leaving everything unglued will allow access to change in the future. So now all we have to do is add a couple glue blocks to secure the casters to the bottom and then load this thing up and have some fun. This is obviously not a complicated project, it's just a pretty much a simple box and it's structurally sound. That's my only requirement was uh, for it to uh, be, be strong enough to complete the task. I put casters on it so I can roll it out in the driveway uh, if I wanted to maybe do some turning outside and keep the dust outside uh, whenever possible. And uh, a big thanks and a shout out to uh, Kevin Miller for opening the door to wood turning for me. Really helped me out with this. And uh, thanks again, man. I, I very much appreciate it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Matt Lane, be sure to check out his YouTube channel. I'll post the link down below. And if you haven't noticed, he hasn't said anything in this video because he just lost his voice. Perfect timing. So uh, be sure to check out his channel. He makes a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, I'm looking forward to putting this thing to use and we're going to play around with this tonight. So anyway, thanks for watching. You guys take care. Be sure to check out those links below. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.